will be challenging for a women to join armed forces uh, do you agree to that do you face uh, do, uh, have you faced any kind of challenging uh, challenges in your job see uh, like right now in the indian army we are not in the combat rules which would certainly require that amount of physical strength you know uh, if i would say that everybody is not created to do every job so you to see what you are made for and if you feel that you are made for the armed forces yes you may join the armed forces and then when it comes to are you physically weak or no what are you comparing yourself with see you don't have to compare yourself with another man and say that see i am equal no why do i have to live with this complex of proving myself better or equal to somebody no i have been created like this i know my limits and i would obviously want to excel those i don't want to compare myself with anybody or prove myself better than anybody so that's what i'll put it like uh, you have also faced some kind of challenges in your life uh, because there is a uh, gender discrimination in our society till date uh, so you have come a long way you were talking to somebody in the indian army there is gender bias there is a reverse gender bias in indian army okay so uh, there is no woman who would say there is gender bias but if you ask any male officer they'll say yes there is gender bias See, I have done just 89 jumps. She is just with 28 jumps, and you people are interviewing us. There are people with 3,000, 4,000 jumps. Those who have trained us, they have never been interviewed by anybody. They are all male officers, but they never say there is gender bias. So there is a reverse gender bias that is happening in the Indian Army right now. So, so you are saying that uh, women uh, officers are more privileged than Indian Army. Absolutely, Indiana. absolutely, I would say that. See how the organisation takes care of us. Do you see any male officer here giving interview on any of the days? Anybody can comment on a women's day. Everybody has opinion, but Army has selected us seven of us to interact with you people. And what is our claim to fame? Nothing. I am telling you. I was telling the journalist. I have just 89 jumps. The officer who trained me left me on survey. Why? Everybody 4,000 jumps, and they actually tell us, "Yeah, have a heart. Yeah, 89 jumps, not even 100." And you are giving interview to the new news channels. So see how well we are taken care here. Do so you want to appeal uh, uh, that there should be a celebration of men's day? Also? I don't think there should be a celebration of women's day. Also, we should just live with you know uh, free will. Uh, out of all shallow complexes of proving yourself better than somebody or equal to somebody, just do what you are doing for the pure bliss of doing it. Because you like doing it, not because you have to prove something to somebody. You know, just live a life and uh, your profession, which is your passion. You just live that passion. I think that's all about it. If you want to motivate someone to join uh, Indian Army, what do you want to say? First of all, I would say that uh, there is nothing someone can say to motivate you. You have to be motivated yourself. You have to have that urge to serve and to let go of anything that is asked for. I think that's the most important thing. So, if you are self-motivated, come join us. Don't look for heroes. Be a hero. I would just say that. And there is another. Uh, to add to what Kanika just said, that see, uh, when you decide that I have to join the army, be very clear of the reason. The reason cannot be nothing, anything less than absolute passion for this noble profession of arms. And then you to see what are the requirements of the organisation, its lofty standards, and the work conditions, etc. You to ask yourself, will I be able to match these standards? Will I meet the requirements? And most importantly, while doing so, will I be joyful and at peace? Would I like doing what I have been asked for? And if the answer is yes, you must join. Otherwise, you will be happier somewhere else, and Indian Army will be better off without you. So you'll have to be very, you know, discreet in deciding when you want to join the Indian Army. Ma'am, uh, there is another issue. Not just uh, men, but women also feel that uh, menstruation and pregnancy are kind of obstacle in uh, a life of a woman. Do you agree? See, I can just tell you my story. I have a six-year-old daughter. Uh, I had completed 50 jumps when I conceived. So I, that was 2014. So I stopped jumping and all other physical activities. Obviously, I started jumping again in 2017. If I'm not wrong, so it was a break of two and a half years. So that's all right. I mean, I didn't find it as an obstacle or something. But then uh, that's a great experience. I mean, it's a blessing to have a child. I would not, in any which way, call it an obstacle. Not at all. Um, so first, I'll start by saying again, you know, uh, what I told you before also that there are so many fields, and yes, it is the way we are built. Biologically, we are different from others. There is no comparison, and army doesn't compare. So, if you, as a woman, think that you know you would have problems, then then you will because you have already perceived that. But uh, otherwise, you know how Karan Khatri has said that it's you who have to decide your course of of your life, of your profession. Because I would say that even being a journalist is challenging, and you face you know if not more, if not less, than the same amount of troubles and you know timings and different places where you have to be. So, so it's just not us. It's 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 everywhere and it's everyone. Okay, one last question: Being a woman is a bliss or a challenge? Without doubt, a bliss. No doubt at all. Definitely a bliss. That's why we are here to celebrate this day. When I earned my maroon, my brigade commander told me, "Once a paratrooper is not always a paratrooper. You have to be that paratrooper every day." And this is what I have experienced in the army: imandari, wafadari, bahaduri. We are trained so well. to face all the odds
being a paratrooper that's been by far my biggest achievement in the service we are all blessed we are all blessed to be in the uniform it's been 16 years uh, but as i look back these 16 years just passed by uh, i've been a paratrooper i've been given a chance to learn skydiving in army every individual uh, who is born must realize what is his or her passion and once you realize that i think making an effort to achieve that passion doesn't look like an effort it just flows out of you